After a solid start to the fishing season, the silver salmon, they're tardy to the party. Due to some concerns um, with coho salmon not returning at levels that are what we uh, would typically see, we have um, taken some conservative measurements to restrict some fisheries um, in the south central area. Which include closures in the Matsu and limits of just one silver salmon per day in the Anchorage Bowl. Exceptions, uh, we've got the Eklutna Tail Race, we've got Bird Creek, and we've got Campbell Creek that are all uh, still open as normal. Those are enhanced runs that are stocked fisheries for coho salmon. While the coho rodeo at Ship Creek had to be postponed and then canceled altogether. One of the most important things uh, for the coho rodeo, we got to have some cohos. But why are we seeing lower and later numbers this year? So in some trends we've seen that maybe even years we are seeing a little bit of a lower return of coho salmon in some areas. Both coho and pink salmon, they only spend about 16 to 18 months in the salt water. Um, so there could be something in the ocean conditions that are affecting their returns this year. Sometimes, you know, depending on water conditions, they can hold off, come in a little bit later. So I think that's what a lot of anglers and, and are hoping for. However, pinks, chums, and sockeyes are still around, while Seward is starting to see some silvers caught from shore. We see this return come through till end of August, early September, um, so sometimes even a little later into September. So it's a, a good opportunity for folks to don't have a boat and they can access from shore. And if you're just looking to get hooked, there are plenty of stock bodies of water around the state. Um, fishing's been great on, on the lakes, so it's a good place uh, if somebody's still looking to get out fishing to, to go and try. We're out here fishing Wasilla Lake. It may not be a salmon, but it, it will do. Carly, the fish tally is adding up. I'm not on your level yet, but it'll do. So for the fishing report, Jordan Rodenberger, Alaska's news source. That little fishy was released safely as I try to catch up to Carly's fish count. Not looking good so far. So if you want to help me out, cast a line to sports at KTU.